What's up? I'm Jesse. I'm the founder of Workflowy. And I'm here to tell you that Workflowy has a web clipper. It's a bit different from other web clippers and it is very useful. So let me show you how it works. So I've been educating myself about black history in America. And as part of it, I've been looking into economic oppression. And I'm reading this article about redlining. In particular, I'm reading and I find this part about how banks would lend to poor white people but not to rich black people, particularly interesting, and I want to take note of it. I would go up, click the Workflow Web Clipper button, and when it pops up, uh, I'm in my little personal note box, and here's the research I'm currently doing, and here's the category I've just created. I've just started, and all I have to do to clip it is I click this Clip Here button, and you can see that the article is linked here, and underneath it, you've got the quote. You'll notice that we have a fully functional workflow interface right inside the web clipper, which means you can do really powerful things such as focus in on what the article you're reading right now and take detailed notes on it. So you don't have to have a context switch between doing research and thinking about that research. In addition, there's the super powerful fact that you can reorganize on the fly as you're taking notes and doing research. So for example, I have a generic session for economic oppression of black people, but as I do more research, I'm gonna end up wanting a section for redlining because there's gonna be a lot of information. I'm probably gonna want a bunch more sections, at least one for how the US Department of Agriculture systematically undercut black farmers. Now you can install the Workflow Web Clipper from the Chrome Web Store. We've included a link here. We're actually gonna change the name from Workflow Clipboard to Workflow Web Clipper, so hopefully that's what you see in the store. And one final thing to note is that we only load your last two weeks of data in order to keep the web clipper fast. So usually that's enough if you're doing active research, but if stuff's not in there, uh, you'll see a little note saying uh, not loaded first performance. So we hope you love the web clipper and I hope that you find it very useful and I hope you tell everyone about it. Thanks.